Module one is so important because it's all about how to attract top PA talent into your private equity business. We're going to cover some really useful tips that will help you do that, including my personal favourite, which is all about employer branding. We know it's really important. There are thousands of recruitment companies out there. Everyone wants the best person to come and work for them. And your employer brand acts like a beacon for your culture. Um, if, if you want to get people who are the right cultural fit and it's all about the nuances that you can't articulate when you meet someone, if they've done loads of research into your company and they like what you're doing, the chances are they're probably going to fit into your business better and then stay longer term. We, we, we know it's really important. We actually did a whole, we've done and continue to do a whole load of work about our employer brand. We actually did a whole rebrand last year. We're starting to produce content around what it's like to actually work at Joss Search. We're getting our employees involved in that. They feel like they're being developed. We're doing more social posts. And also I suppose the key takeaway for me is making things visually appealing, which I didn't realize because I'm not you know on my phone all the time, just how important making things look good um, is and actually um, that's something that we've been been doing a lot of and I have found really beneficial for attracting top PAs who want to work for your companies. You're actually doing all of the things probably without even realising it. Private equity is a fantastic place to work, they've got fantastic cultures, people enjoy coming to work, it's fast paced, they're well remunerated, um, they're well supported and um, they've generally got, especially for a PA, a really close-knit team of PAs that they can work alongside which for most people is a really important part of, of what they're looking for. So you're actually probably already doing what you need to do, you're probably just not talking about it. So it's got to be things like your social channels, blogging, videos, interviewing in employees, promoting success stories. Just when you're on the go, maybe maybe find a few people internally who you know have that sort of interest and are doing it already and get them involved as well and it saves you having to do it but you can get people who actually enjoy you know I don't know using Instagram or doing videos or taking pictures or you know to actually help you with doing this at the start. I do think the employer brand is probably the most important thing you can do when it comes to attracting top PAs into your business, but it is the one that takes the most strategic thinking and long-term planning. Along the way, there are lots of little things that you can do that give you some short-term wins. Um, and the first one is about the job description. So quite often the job description just covers what the job entails, but it doesn't actually cover why the job's important. Before you actually sit down and write a job description, sit down with the people that this role will be working for and ask them why they need a PA what they want from this PA personally and you know from a skill set perspective and document that and just make sure that you're not wasting your time and you know exactly what you're looking for when it comes to you actually going out there and meeting them. The job advert shouldn't just be the job description posted on the internet that can be um, that's not particularly enticing what you want to do is communicate all the reasons why your business is great your job advert is there to advertise why your company in particular this PA should work for. Don't be afraid to go into loads of detail about why your company's great, what the person in the role before did that was brilliant, specific projects they could get involved in, why they'd enjoy working there. They, that person almost needs to be able to imagine themselves at your company every day doing that job. So alongside having a great job description and a great advert, you can start thinking about building a passive talent pool. What does that mean? It means building a pool of people who aren't actively looking right now um, that you can go to the next time you are actually hiring. Job boards will provide you with one source of candidates, but they won't provide you with all the types of candidates that you need. At Joss Search, we have uh, thousands of people in our passive talent pool, and we leverage that pool all the time. You don't need thousands because you're not hiring on the same volume that we are you just need a few and um, we could go to them and we ask them and um, tell them about roles that we're actively looking for now and if they're not looking they often think about someone who is which leads us on nicely to the next part of this which is all about building a referral network I really think building a referral network is great because PAs in your business are probably the most well-networked people. And um, generally, statistically, I think there's some research to show that PAs, um, well, not just PAs, but candidates who are referred into a business are 55% more likely to get hired faster and they've got double the length of time in staying in their job in retention versus candidates who have come for a, from a job board. So there's real value in getting the PAs in your business to actually refer other people that would want to work at um, your company. We're going to cover that in a bit more detail in the last module of how you actually go about doing it, but in, in, in essence it's about asking the people you know who they know and whether they'd want to work for your company.
And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. That's the end of um, module one, which is all about attracting top PAs into your business. You can download the accompanying cheat sheet below, which goes into loads more detail about what I've covered. Um, in the next module, you're going to learn all about how to recruit PAs into your business and build a process that keeps you happy, keeps your partners happy, is effective and, um, and less headache for all of you, really.